made it up to my shop on Monday. It's recovery day. It's so nice and steady. Um, I was going to run just uh, the normal loop up here, but it was such a lovely day. I decided to go a bit further, so I've ended up with uh, seven and a half mile up to here. So a few less to do as it gets dark this evening. So let's go and get a little bit of work done and uh, then I'll see you back out on the road. Right, bit of work done for the day. Now let's get down this road before it gets dark. Well, it's certainly got colder than the lovely weather we had earlier today. Oh, a bit chilly, but we'll soon warm up. Oh. route I planned to come back from my shop and then realised halfway that I'd topped up a bit more because it was a nice day earlier. Um, so I've ended up doing a little bit more than I should have today but never mind it felt good and uh, yeah some more miles in the bag. Nice and steady so uh, not too hard. So it's all good. Um, just done nine mile and we did seven and a half earlier. So that's 16 and a half for the day. So um, yeah, a bit more than expected, but still good. So next is Tuesday and session with BNR. So I'll see you tomorrow night. finished my Tuesday mileage running back from session man I struggled my ass off today at that session uh, just from the get-go tonight my glute just did not want to know uh, really really not good but we got through it so tomorrow is a rest day so we'll rest up and see how we feel on Thursday but oh, I'm glad that's over but more miles in the bank so all good right I'll see you Thursday well would you believe it after that dog of a session on Tuesday I've just had a fantastic session on the track um, so I didn't film during the session because we were on the track um, but we did 45 minutes with one lap at marathon pace and one lap at 10k pace and alternating between the two and it went really well so very happy with that session today uh, my glute took about 15 laps before it actually loosened up and let me run uh, I'm gonna say normally but not quite nor not quite but um, yeah it loosened up and let me run a bit better so good very happy with that so that is Thursday's training done a couple of mile home um, and next will be our run on Saturday probably park run for the first time in ages so I'll see you on Saturday good morning everyone it is Saturday it's park run day 
um, what feels like the first time in forever. Um, I'm on my way down to Arrow Valley Park Run to uh, have a bit of a run round with everyone. Um, I'm going down to meet Andy um, today. I'm going to run with him. He's going to try for another PB today. So fingers crossed for Andy. I'm going to let him pace himself this time though. Just sit behind and encourage. So that should be good. Um, got to say though, struggling a bit this morning. My glute really doesn't feel good. But we'll finish this run down there and see how we feel. And I'm sure it will be alright, it will warm up. So let's get down there. It's done. I'll be in this. Look at that. Amazing. Right, one lap to go. Let's go. Right, we're on the back straight. And he's doing amazing. When we get down to this corner though. Uh, the final stretch to go and Andy is going to do what all them star bands from the early 2000s told us to do he's going to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up so let's go Amazing dude, great work. Dude, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. What an awesome Saturday. So that's park run done. That was ace. Andy ran super well. That was wicked. Um, but we spent so much time talking at the end. All the people I normally warm down with have already gone. <laughs> so a uh, bit of a warm down on my own. Well, I say warm down. I've got to top up my mileage for the day. So seven and a half mile to do back home. And then uh, we shall call it a day and go and get some work done. So, a few laps of the lake and then make my way home. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. That last few miles today was tough and I know exactly why. So, this is a public service amount announcement. Uh, fuel your runs. Um, yeah, I didn't finish work at my shop last night until very late. I was uh, I finished at half ten, so then I had to pop to Tesco get some stuff. Um, so I didn't get home till late. So I only had a little small bowl of porridge before bed, and then 
because I was knackered, didn't get up until it was time to leave the house for park run. So really didn't fuel properly for this run and it was tough. So yeah, don't be like me, don't be stupid. Make sure you fuel up, which is exactly what I'm about to go and do. I'm gonna go home and fill my belly. Uh, and just in time, it started raining. So not far away from home now, let's get there. Oh, I'm going tomorrow. Ooh. Right, so Sunday long run is go. My glute feels just as crap as it did yesterday morning, which is great. Uh, we're about two and a half mile in. Um, so we'll see if it warms up. But yeah, the plan is three mile warm up, three miles at marathon pace, one mile float, three miles at marathon pace, one mile float, three miles at marathon pace, and then three mile warm down. So hopefully, if my glute plays ball, 17 mile in total. So let's uh, get going and uh, get to his first marathon pace mile. Let's go. Right, first block of marathon pace mile. Let's go. miles of marathon pace done glutes still mega tight but we're getting through it so we'll keep going right see you in a mile time right next block of marathon pace miles coming up Here we go. Man, oh, man, that was tough, but we got through it. That's two blocks down, one to go. Oh, right. Last block of marathon pace miles. Oh. Let's go. Well, that is marathon pace miles done for the day. Oh. Not quite sure how I got through that last block, but I did. Oh. So I can really steady up now. And then I'm three miles back home. Oh. walking in today. I am done. Man, that was hard work today. That was a big week. Oh. Oh. I think with the 17 miles I've done today, I'm up to about 73 miles for the week. But some big sessions in there. Today's session was a big one. Uh, I can still feel Thursday in my legs a little bit as well. That was a big session. So I'm happy to get through this week with that amount of mileage and uh, feeling okay at the end of that run. It was tough. I wouldn't want to run anymore. <laughs> but 
we got through it and uh, we are done for the week so next week I have decided it's going to be a deload week it's going to be all about running steady and easy and uh, dropping the mileage down a little bit um, number one because my body needs it my body is screwed at the moment um, secondly uh, it's national cross country uh, champs on the Saturday next week so I would love nothing more than to run well at that so I can use it as a deload week and a sort of taper week at the same time so yeah it's gonna uh, it's gonna be good hopefully by Saturday I'm feeling really good and I can go out and race that cross country champs uh, pretty well it's going to be pretty mental a couple of thousand people all setting off at the same time I'm running around a big muddy field so yeah it's going to be fun but we are done for this week um, let's get back home and uh, have something to eat and a shower and then we can have a look at what we actually did this week Whoa, big old week but we're happy <laughs> So week seven is done. That was a pretty big week. Uh, some big sessions in there, but pretty happy to get it over and done with. Next week will be a deload week, ready for national cross country at the end of the week. Um, so yeah, let's have a very quick look at what we did this week. Cause yeah, I really am conscious of the length of these videos. Um, so we started the week with um, my recovery runs. I ran um, up to my shop, but because it was a really nice day, I did a few extra miles and then <laughs> on the way home, did the route I planned and forgot I'd already done some extra miles. So ended up with too many for the Monday, but that was all good. Um, then on Tuesday, we had a um, road session with BNR. I really, really struggled uh, with this. My glute just didn't want to know, felt like a block of lead. Um, managed to get through the session but it really wasn't good at all but oh, yeah um can't really go through the um um laps really on this because um the session was a pyramid lamppost session so we used lampposts at the side of the road and we did different distances each time so the distance is built up and then reduced again um so yeah but um obviously it will be on the screen um, so you can see uh, what I managed to do. But yeah, Tuesday really wasn't a great session at all. But then Thursday was a great session, um, session on the track. Um, and we did 45 minutes um, of uh, track running and we alternated laps between uh, marathon pace and 10K pace. So I went out hoping to do 100 seconds a lap for marathon pace and then 90 seconds a lap for 10k pace. Um, pretty much hit all the 90 second ones, um, slightly over on a couple, but I overcooked every single uh, 100 second one, um, went probably a bit too fast on every single one. But um, yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good session. Really enjoyed that one. So uh, yeah, I did 29 and a quarter laps in the end. So yeah, for 45 minutes, pretty happy with that. Um, then 
we went down to Parkrun on Saturday to um, run with Andy, let him pace himself, um, but he ran so good. That was a great Saturday um, morning. Um, his pace was progressive throughout as well. So uh, we started off with a 724 mile, then we did a 715 mile, then a 704 mile. Um, so yeah, he absolutely smashed it out of the park and got a uh, new PB, which was ace. But then on the way home, yeah, I didn't fuel properly for this run at all. So flagged real bad on the way home. But we got home and I managed to um, uh, finish off and then go and get something to eat. So um, yeah, public service announcement, fuel your runs. Make sure you've got enough in uh, your um, body energy wise to get through that run. But then, um, yeah, Sunday, so today, um, really good session. Um, it was tough, some bits of that was tough, but we got through it. Uh, three miles warm up, three lots of three miles at marathon pace with one mile float in between and then three miles warm down. So 17 miles in total in just over two hours at an average pace of seven minutes and 11 seconds. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Um, so if we look at the totals for the week, um, Monday we did 16.52. Uh, Tuesday we did 13.81. Sorry, sorry, 13.18. Um, Thursday we did 13.75. Saturday we did 12.97. And then Sunday 17.01. So we've got a total for the week of 73.43 miles. Um, yeah, really happy with that. Happy to be up at that mileage at this point. But as I say, next week will be a bit of a deload week to try and freshen the legs a bit, ready for national cross country on the Sunday, oh, Saturday. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Um, really looking forward to the rest of the block now. Um, yeah um please give this video a like and if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time cheers guys